Hello, my brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. Today, we're going to read a story about self-esteem and being yourself called Perfectly Norman by Tom Percival, read and adapted by Miss Coralie. Norman had always been normal, perfectly normal, until one day, He grew a pair of wings. Norman had imagined growing taller or growing a beard like his dad, but he had never imagined growing a pair of wings. Still, they were here now, so he decided to test them out right away. Ooh, doesn't that look fun? Soon, Norman was swooping around and generally having the most fun ever. But then, what do you think will happen next? He had to go in for dinner. Dinner! You see, Norman had always been so normal. He didn't know how his parents would feel about his extraordinary wings. As he went in, Norman covered himself up in a great big coat. His parents didn't notice the wings, but they did think it was odd to be wearing a coat indoors. Bath time was problematic, so was bedtime. The coat was hot and uncomfortable, but Norman had decided that no one should see his wings ever. Why doesn't Norman want people to see his wings? What do you think? The next day, Norman went to the park but he was far too hot to play any of his favorite games. And so it went on. Long car journeys were unbearable. The swimming pool was dreadful. And that was nothing compared to his friend's birthday party. What do you think happened during his friend's birthday party? The only time that Norman could feel normal now was when it rained. How do you think Norman is feeling right now? One day, a boy tried to pull his coat off and Norman had to run away hot-faced, angry, and sad. He wished he'd never grown those stupid wings. Do you notice how the pictures in this story so far are nearly all gray, except for Norman's yellow coat? Why do you think the author did that? Then he saw some birds high up in the sky and remembered the joy of his first flight. It occurred to Norman that it was the coat that was making him miserable, not the wings. Why don't you take that scruffy old thing off? suggested his mom and dad. Norman looked up at them hesitantly. His parents smiled and nodded. Norman smiled back. Then he threw off the coat and let his wonderful wings fan out. How is Norman feeling now? Norman leapt into the air. Finally, he was free of that coat. 
He noticed a few other children wearing thick, heavy coats of their own. They looked up at Norman and around at one another nervously. There was a moment's pause, and then, what do you think is going to happen next? Whoosh! The sky was filled with flying people. Norman had never felt so happy. Look at how colorful this picture is. Why do you think the author has filled this picture with colors? He realized that there was no such thing as perfectly normal. But he was perfectly Norman, which was just as it should be. The end. Everyone is unique and special in their own magical and beautiful way. What makes you unique? What makes you proud of yourself? Let's take a minute to think about it. Pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye.